U.S. President Donald Trump's first 100 days have been distracted by multiple investigations into Russia's possible interference with American elections. Among the questions law enforcement agencies and Congress want answered, did the Trump campaign collude with Moscow? Viewer Steve Barragona explains. January 10th, the nation's top intelligence officials testifying for the first time on Russian efforts to sabotage last year's U.S. presidential election. We have high confidence that President Putin ordered an influence campaign in 2016 aimed at the U.S. presidential election. The goals of this campaign were to undermine public faith in the U.S. democratic process, denigrate Secretary Clinton, and harm her electability and potential presidency. Putin and the Russian government also developed a clear preference for President-elect Trump. Major allegations, but few answers in one of the biggest political scandals to shake Washington in years. Followed by weeks of dizzying developments, the resignation of Trump's national security advisor, and the recusals of the attorney general and the House Intelligence Committee chairman, and the FBI director finally going public with what many had speculated for weeks, that the Bureau started investigating Russia last July. I have been authorized by the Department of Justice to confirm that the FBI, as part of our counterintelligence mission, is investigating the Russian government's efforts to interfere in the 2016 presidential election. And that includes investigating the nature of any links between individuals associated with the Trump campaign and the Russian government. As with any counterintelligence investigation, the FBI wants to know whether any crimes were committed. Trump has dismissed the Russia allegations as a hoax, saying the real scandal involves the Obama administration's surveillance of Trump and his campaign associates last year. It's all fake news. It's all fake news. But the Trump investigation is quite serious, says former Watergate prosecutor Richard Benvenista. It highlights the vulnerabilities of our democracy and other democracies throughout uh, the world uh, to interference uh, through techniques of hacking, disinformation, and uh, various kinds of disruptions uh, that we must uh, be guarding against. And U.S. lawmakers say they want to get the facts, no matter how long it takes. Let me just say that we can't say enough what the mission of uh, the Senate committee is, which is to look at all activities that Russia might have taken to alter or influence the 2016 elections in the United States. The Senate Intelligence Committee is one of five panels that have looked into Russian interference. The panel moved into the spotlight after Devin Nunes, chairman of the House panel leading the investigations, stepped aside amid allegations of disclosing classified documents. To find answers, seven professional committee staffers with top security clearance are poring over thousands of classified intelligence documents. Among at least 20 witnesses, the panel plans to interview Jared Kushner, Trump's son-in-law and senior advisor. The FBI probes are carried out of two field offices and the Bureau's Washington headquarters. To coordinate the investigations, the Bureau is reportedly setting up a Washington task force. When contacted by VOA, the FBI declined to comment. Last month, Comey was asked how long an investigation of this kind usually takes. There is no usually. Uh, it, it, it's hard. It's impossible to say, frankly. But Ben Benista said the probe could drag well into next year. It depends upon the level of cooperation of cooperating witnesses, various electronic intercepts that may yield promising information to the investigators, it certainly will not be over in a matter of a few months. By contrast, the Watergate investigation in the early 1970s took two years, and the Iran-Contra probe of the 1980s lasted six years. For VOA correspondent Masood Faravar, I'm Steve Barragona.